Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. We're in Lower Seattle looking for the church, the order. And I think this might be it. I think it's in a warehouse and this sort of looks like a church kind of thing. It is very strange though. It's, I mean, it's a cloth. It's like a flag. I don't know, it's just a lot of empty space though. Anyway, uh, let's get some propaganda first. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the refinery riots, protesting the incorporation of Seattle into the WTO. Mourners held a candlelight vigil in remembrance of those killed in the chaos. Oh, you know what? At the end of the last episode, I mentioned, like, everybody has names. There's no generic characters like there are in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. But there actually are some generic characters, like this person is just called Thug. But it seems like a huge amount of people are named. You don't look like you're from around here. That looks like the order. Her Holiness. Yep. Before I go in there, let me just see if there's some multi-tools hanging behind a trash can or something. Ooh. You can do it. There you go, Alex. This time I'm getting paid. WTO Chairman Dumier is irredeemable. He has led too many down the path of greed and disorder. In time, we will open their eyes. We are so fortunate that Her Holiness found us before Dumier could invade our spirits with such ruthless and selfish competition. That Dumier or Dumier person is probably the one that's sowing dissension. That, um... Uh, our, our contact within the order mentioned right like when we were telling the person that had contacted us from the order I forgot their name but I guess I guess they're her holiness maybe um, but Alex was saying like what the hell are you doing you want to save us but then you're like attacking us and you know what the hell's going on and they mentioned that there's uh, like a faction within the order that's sowing dissension each of them knows in his or her heart that something is still missing. True order and so Ah, you seek solace from your everyday troubles. You owe this search for true order, not only to yourself. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Follow me, I seek the everlasting ices of the north, where you will feel the misery of cold and frost, to which I am impassive. You will find near this place, if you follow not too tardily, a dead hare. Eat and be refreshed. Come on, my enemy. We have yet to wrestle for our lives, but many hard and miserable hours must you endure until the, this uh, that period shall arrive. But also to your fellow humans, there is a far free alka fire for collective duty. You are bound to serve nice. and bring the search to others so that all may reach deeper understandings and peace. Oh, it just flares. Alex D of Tarsus Academy, you are alive. You always speak the truth, Your Holiness. Have faith. The Order Church condemns the illegal biomodification experiments performed on you and the other trainees. Biomods are part of the training. We knew what they do to our tissues. Your biomod architecture is no piezochem clone. The trainee's DNA has been completely rewritten. We are certain the one called Leo would have been ineligible for biomodification without extensive gene replacement. Sounds like typical R&D. An innovation that would expand the biomod market. The technology's uses exceed what you might expect. It could standardize the human organism, make all ability and talent into software modules, radically disrupt the social order. You think there's a political agenda behind my biomods? Yes. We have rescued you so that you can help us identify and defeat your creators. Please listen to my high auger, Lin Mei Chen. She will contact you at the Holocom in the other room. 
Oh, that's that's my contact. So yeah, my contact is not Her Holiness, which is that person, but the High Augur, Lin Mei Chen. You must strive with your meditations to become a Pandita. Our Hindu brothers originated this goal, that of becoming one who is liberated or self-aware. Through this inward reflection, you can liberate yourself from chaos and disorder. Did I just take church Unlocking tithes? your cyber can also help you achieve greater order. As the Muslims before you who revered this attribute, you must be steadfast. I'm here. You said you had more to say about the raid on Tarsus. What went wrong? We're still investigating. I haven't heard from Captain Lamar since he disobeyed my orders. Why should I join a group which is at war with itself? Unifying the world's religions is a difficult enterprise. What we must do, and I ask your help in this, is determine what happened to Captain Lamar so that we can assess the operation. Just as you arrived, I got a report that he had abandoned his unit. Incidentally, my agents have been following your activities in Upper Seattle. We will talk about Mako Ballistics when you return. One of your own captains? AWOL? He was seen with a gang of local thugs linked to the Knights Templar. He did a little moonlighting after the Tarsus raid by coordinating a prison break. Busy man. He's pinned down in the Inclinator right now, negotiating with the authorities for safe passage out of Seattle. I want you to infiltrate the facility and learn what you can about this betrayal. Then perhaps we'll be closer to understanding his actions at Tarsus Academy. What's the connection to the Knights Templar? Unclear. One of the commanders was facing trial and I guess Templar extremism appealed to some of our seekers. The church seems to be losing ground in disadvantaged neighborhoods, where the poor are quick to join any cause that makes them feel powerful. It's such a goofy thing that the Knight Tem the Knights Templar are actually a big part of the Deus Ex universe. It's not just in this game either. Um, I don't remember them being mentioned in Mankind Divided, but they definitely were a thing, like a significant part of the story in the original Deus Ex. What do we got in there? Uh, not quite sure, but there's at least some money. Oh, and that's a spider bot. I definitely want more spider bots. What is that? Noisemaker grenade. Ooh. That's intriguing. Let's stump some stuff. Get rid of that. Definitely want to keep EMP. EMP proximity mine. Mmm. God, I feel like I should keep this energy blade because it's so unique. I don't feel like I'm ever going to find anything like that again or not very often. But at the same time, if I can't sell it, like, eh, I'm never going to use it. I'll dump the EMP proximity mine. Oh wait, but I need room for my spider butt. Now I need to dump something else. Okay, I'm not going to hold- wait, no, I have room. Okay, we're good. My seekers, you must activate your Kundalini or your spiritual energy. You should purify your spirit in your search for true order. It will ascend from one. Why is that an entire load zone? It's so small. It's like two rooms. Okay, I have no idea what this goal actually means. Find order, Captain Lamar. He's a fugitive inside the Inclinator. I didn't know there was an inside the Inclinator. I thought it was just a single elevator platform. Right? It's not boxed in. It's just a flat platform that goes down, like, diagonally down to Lower Seattle. Or up to Upper Seattle. What, what does it mean for them to be inside of it? Anyway, I'm just going to ignore that for now and do some other stuff. Crowbar. Oh! Queequegs, which is a really weird name. That's the cafe that uh, that person at the other place, the other coffee shop, wanted me to burn their beans, sabotage them. It is our pledge to our customers that we use only the finest organic coffee beans brewed with imported spring water. Fancy. This thug surely wouldn't care if I broke into this place, right? I mean, they're a thug, not like police. I'm trying to see if there's like a way I can jump up inside of there. 
Doesn't look like it. So, I should be able to shoot that with my bolt caster without triggering it because I have that glass destabilizer thing. Just look at that. It turned into purple dust. I'm still not sure whether turrets alone can see me, because I don't see a camera. Probably not, I think I'm fine. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Wait, 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 what are these made out of? They're supposed to be glass, right? But they look like they're made out of, I don't know, slightly shiny concrete. Everything in this game is made out of concrete. I use the coffee beans I'm supposed to destroy. Not gonna do it. Coffee science. I already read that in the other place. That's the exact same board that was in the director of the Inclinator's office. Um. Yeah, there's not much here. Some money. Soft key. Key code. Queequeg's coffee shop stored in data vault. That's weird. If it's just a key code, then why was it like a physical object? I wish I could eat stuff without having to take it into my inventory. Like, I don't want to free up a slot just to do that. So I'm not going to bother. Oh. Heron's Loft Apartments. Hmm, I'm gonna wait on that, because chances are, you know, an entire apartment building is probably gonna have a quest related to it. Ooh. Can I get up here? Secrets? Nope. Oh, that also goes to Heron's Loft Apartments. Uh, hey, Lowtown Lucy, have you seen Captain Lamar inside uh, of the Inclinator? That's right. So you have a theory about the Inclinator disaster? Not a theory. Fact. Fact. Inclinator traffic is half what it was two years ago. Fact. People this side of the Inclinator can't even get metro passes anymore. It's a complete WTO takeover, just like I predicted five years ago. So it wasn't an accidental spill? You believe everything you hear at a public terminal? The media is controlled by the WTO. Even the sorry scab standing next to me knows that. Careful walking around here at night. I guess I'll try down here? Oh shit. There's a monster. If it's actually unconscious, it doesn't say whether they are or not, like it does with humans. Maybe with monsters, you can't actually make them unconscious. But theoretically, they're just unconscious. Oh shit, there's another one. Uh, spider bomb, help me. Thank you for the help. Ah, 
kind of so happy about what we just accomplished. Jumping for joy. Whoa. Oh, it's just the body making noises. That was another one. Previous victims. Oh, there's another energy blade. Okay, energy blades aren't worth crap. I'm just gonna drop this one. Dead Omar Protector. Femur. Another spider bomb. Eh, I guess I'll take that mine, sure. Well, I guess this is not inside the Inclinator. Because I see no Captain Lamar. Um. There we go. So either the Grease Pit or more likely back here. Hear that? What no Cleanabot? I'm just guessing, but spread out. Oh! They're gonna try to kill me. Grenade! Ah, ain't nothing. Ah, ah, ah. That was a nice Still breathing. Ah, uh, this, uh, this stun baton is really not very effective. Ouch. I guess those were the thugs that were last seen around Lamar? I keep picking up bodies mostly because I'm so used to playing Deus Ex Mankind Divided where you can loot everybody, but you can't actually loot bodies. If they have anything on them, they just drop it on the floor. Maybe there's inside the Inclinator? I guess, I just heard a sniper shot too, what the hell? Oh, shit! It does do damage over time. So I can probably just wait now. There we go. Yeah, and it's not real damage, it's unconscious. Right? Yeah, they're just unconscious. Templar Recruit. Sorry. Poor thing. MP grenade, another med kit. You know what? Let's just use a flare just to see how good it looks. Huh. I'm sad that it doesn't make a red colored lighting. Not that flares actually do that, like, I don't know if they actually do make red-colored lighting, but I expect them to be red, because that's cool. Okay, so, where's this inside the Inclinator? What does inside the Inclinator mean? I, I could go back up to Upper Seattle, but I don't think that would be it. Eh, whatever, I'm going back to the slums. I guess I'll check the Greasel Pit. No active weapons in the Greasel Pit. First, I gotta transmit the safety lock codes to freeze anything you're carrying. 
Then I let you in. Otherwise, take a hike. Go ahead. Send the code. Thanks. There's sensors that will reactivate everything on your way out. You're clear to go in now. Whoa. Just busted through the wall and that's the entrance. <laughs> the table's just a pile of loose boards. <laughs> but what about the apartment? I already picked up my gear. Wait, Sid Black? I've seen that name before. We heard that name recently, but I don't remember who the hell they are. Your gear? You're leaving? Sid, you made me get this big place. Do you know how high my rent is? Come on, I'll be back. You know this is home to me, Cindy. Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, right. But a captain's got to sail if he wants to keep his ship. Well, well. An enclave kid comes down to cruise the slums on Daddy's credit line. First time at sea level? My parents are dead. They were in Chicago at the time of the attack. Oh. Sorry, mate. Just talking chaff. No offense. Sure. Sid Black. Call me Sid. Best jet jockey in the Northern Hemisphere. So, you're on your own? If you need a lift, I'm game. All you gotta do is bail out my jet and give me a little something for my trouble. Who has your jet? Sophia Sack. Crime boss of the port. Holds court in the Heron's Loft building on the other side of town past the Order Church. Uh -huh. Took my jet because she said I came up short on a shipment, but she's a lying thief. Everyone knows Sid's never lost a load. How much do you charge your passengers? For a pretty lady like you, the going rate minus 20%. But I'm up to Swanee until I get those mercs away from my jet. Maybe you could arrange an accident, know what I mean? Take out Sack and her two-bit security force. You look like the type. Wiry, steely-eyed. Like this lady bounty hunter I dated once. You seem like a complete prick. Sure, I'll help you. Yes, I'm upset. Leave me alone. Sorry. Pit's downstairs. What's the pit? Mind if I just, uh, take that and take that multi tool? Cool, thanks. Wow, this place is actually kind of huge. A new face. Interesting. Introduce yourself. Is this the prank call or something? Funny way to meet people. I search every place I can. You're very close, but not quite the one I'm looking for. Close to what? You look modified. So? I need help. I'm a helicopter pilot. They're holding me captive, along with my chopper, at the WTO terminal in Upper Seattle. I just came from Upper Seattle. How did you get this call past WTO security? I've tapped into the terminal's local network. The passcode to the hangar holding my vehicle is 00485. Get me out of here, and I'll fly you anywhere you want, free of charge. I've risked my neck for less. I'll think about it. Oh, fuck yeah. Helped him out, I get to fly for free, and I don't have to spend time with that prick Sid. There's just a hole in that desk. Bathroom. <laughs> Let's see the lovely ambiance in here. Oh my god. Fuck me. That's a urinal trough thingy, whatever they're called. It has no drain. Piss just fills up and accumulates. It's just a trough of piss. Oh. Another lucky night. Well, that might be the basement. 
or the pit. Oh, this loops around back to the main place. Yeah. How's it going? What do you want? Can I play pool? No, there's no pool balls. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Oh. I don't know, seems fine. <laughs> Thanks for the money. You may smoke here. Smoking encouragement sign. More uptown thieves every day. Thanks. Is this like a fighting ring? Yeah, looks like it. Match seven. Gobs are in the shoot. Buy-in is the house minimum. Odds are one to one. You really have cockfights with transgenics down here? Hey, better watch the feeb speak around the pit or these scabs. Not me, of course, but these other scabs might take advantage. Know what I'm saying? Sorry. So how do I know which transgenic to bet on? They all look the same to me. You work in a lab or something? Something like that. Well, we fight gobs down here. Green gobs, brown gobs, baby stealing, sewer slinking, good eating gobs. Follow me? Right now, it's Green Dragon in the North Shoot, Shutterbug in the South. Walk around, check the fighters, then let me know where you want to put your money. I don't want anything to do with this. Let me think about it. Make it quick. Gobzilla's on deck. Can I free them? <laughs> they just dumped on their head. Oh, I thought it was maybe the things that I had already fought. But no, that's something totally different. Nah, there's nothing around here I can do. I can't even get inside of the ring even if I wanted to. Yeah, looks like that's the whole place. Pretzel for 150. It's actually not bad. Well, I think we have an appointment for the Heron Apartments. Or actually, do we? That appointment is to help out Sid Black. I mean, I can do both, right? I can help out Sid Black and also help out the other person with the WTO. Free them in their, their vehicle, chopper, jet, whatever they have. Yeah, I can do both. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to check out Heron's Loft.